Well, it seems like the Earth is going to be splitting into half. Scientists have announced that Africa is splitting in two halves. The map of our world is about to change. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. An entirely new ocean could emerge in the African continent. Well, it seems like the situation is much more serious than what we've been expecting. Now, the crack started in 2018 when Africa started splitting in two halves. Giant take crack a look at this in the one. earth opened up almost overnight, 50 feet deep and at its widest, 65 feet across, slicing through a highway and terrifying many who live in this area just west of Nairobi, Kenya. So what caused it? Well, it depends on what scientist you ask. So it basically seems like whole land just cracked into like two halves. And we just got some latest reports from scientists who have now stated that the cracks are growing in much faster pace than what they have already recorded in 2018. And the new research actually shows that it's going to be happening much sooner than what they've expected before. Now in January, we got another report where it seems like a volcano is erupting. And this is basically how it looks. This is literally coming out of the earth that just split up. Can you imagine volcanoes being formed out of the cracks of earth? It's going to be super terrifying, man. Imagine if you lived here and your house was right beneath this crack. And the last thing you want to see is a volcano eruption. And that is crazy. This is what's going on right now in Africa, and nobody's talking about it. And that's... I don't know what he's talking, but it seems like he's scared. That, that's all I know. We also got another footage here. Oh, this man's chilling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he's chilling. What is that? I think that's like the, the volcanic smoke coming out of the earth. Dude, that is terrifying. What are you doing, dude? Get out of there. Oh my god. That is one hell of a place to be in. I honestly don't know what this dude is up to. Oh my goodness. You gotta, you gotta get out of there, dude. I think they're probably praying, right? <laughs> what are you guys doing? I wish I could understand. Oh my god, it's, it's splitting up. It's moving. I don't know guys, but it seems like whatever they're trying to do, it's really not helping. What are you screaming? Are you screaming at the volcano? I don't know whatever is going on, but it's, it definitely seems like those people are screaming at the volcano. And honestly, man, this is one of the most terrifying things to notice as of now. Because Earth splitting into half and it just looks like this. And out of a sudden, in 2024, you see volcanoes erupting out of these cracks. That's like the last thing you want to see after Earth splits in half. A massive crack in the ground that's estimated to be up to 50 feet deep has opened up mm. in Kenya seemingly overnight. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley, and many scientists believe wow. it could end up splitting the continent apart. So this is how it looked like before? Like there was no volcano or something like that. But right now, the same location, it's like filled with volcanic eruption. There's like fire beneath it. I'm just guessing that Earth's core is like getting messed up right now. It's getting weakened like we have seen in the previous reports. And that's scary, man. Imagine waking up one morning to find a massive crack running through your home. Oh, I That's don't want to wake up to, to that. Jaguna, <laughs> forced to dismantle his house by hand before it was lost to the earth below. He lives in Mai Mahu, part of the Great Rift Valley in Kenya, a region that has already provided a treasure trove of some of the most important archaeological finds mm. in history. 
Imagine very soon this whole split is going to belong to another country, probably to India. That's just crazy how entire country is going to be split apart, becoming a country of its own. Africa is slowly splitting into two land masses due to tectonic activity. This process is mm. happening along the East African Rift, a geological feature where the African plate is dividing into two smaller plates, the Somali plate and the Nubian plate. The East African Rift Valley stretches over 3,000 kilometers or... Wow, look at this whole place just completely getting split right now. 2,800 miles from Ethiopia down to Mozambique. So this is the part which is uh, completely breaking down, right? All this whole entire line that's been drawn, this entire part of Africa is going to be like completely broken down, including Ethiopia, which is going to break down into half. It's part of a divergent boundary where the Earth's tectonic plates are moving away from each other. The rift is being caused by the movement of the Nubian plate, most of Africa, and the Somali plate, which is breaking away. As these plates move apart, the Earth's hmm. crust thins and can lead to volcanic activity and the formation of new ocean bases. Look at the whole crack the that's formed. Damn. Includes the presence of large cracks in the ground, such as the one that appeared in Kenya in 2018. That is massive, dude. And just take a look at this gas station over here, which is present in the highway. And it's completely split in half. It just looks like some sort of a movie set or something. Most people are unaware that Africa is about to be divided into two by a new ocean, altering the destinies of millions. It's going to form Ethiopia, a new ocean. a massive crack stretching for 50 kilometers has emerged due to tectonic plates pulling. So this is actually the old news, right? Like we only had like 50 kilometers has been cracked down. But now it seems like the scientists have reported that the crack has gone even more bigger that the plane has basically cracked to much more than 50 kilometers we don't know the exact numbers as of now part. this crack is expected to widen over time eventually completely splitting africa into two click to wow. follow and continue watching between the divided land masses a paradise for marine life will emerge as a new ocean forms simultaneously wow. countries like rwanda uganda burundi and the democratic republic of the congo will have their own coastlines facilitating maritime transportation However, mm. countries such as Somalia and Ethiopia will face dire consequences as their territories are torn apart. Like, just imagine your country is basically being split in half and you have no control of that stuff. You just have to give it up to Mother Nature because none of that is going to be in our control. So, and whichever other country it's going to be landing in is going to own the entire part of this plane. And as of now, it seems like it's going to be India in which all of this landmass is going to be landing in. Now, I actually came across this Twitter page where they give us a full explanation as to what kind of a destruction or good stuff is going to be coming out of this. Take a look at this stuff. Africa is gradually splitting into two parts. The Nubian and Somali plates are separating. This process is very slow, but its impact is going to be felt on our earth as well. If the wow. Somalian plates move towards India, its impact mm -hmm. will not be limited to uh, Africa only. There will be a terrible collision on the western coast of India. And just imagine, because mm. of this collision, mountains higher than the Himalayas will rise. Mountains higher than Himalayas, and the worst part is that it's going to be way bigger than the current biggest peak of the world, Himalayan mountains itself. Which we can call Somalian mountains. Now you think about all the cities situated on the seaside, like Mumbai, Gujarat, <laughs> Goa, oh my God. Kerala. They're going to get destroyed. Warm and green coastal areas can turn into icy deserts. Wow. The temperature could drop from 30 degrees Celsius to zero degrees. Just like millions of years ago, when mm -hmm. the Indian plate collided with Asia and the Himalayas were formed. Wait, is that... is that how Himalayas were formed? I just found this video which explains on how Himalayas were found. Oh, damn. So that's basically how the Himalayas were formed, like both the planes just collided together? Oh my goodness. That is actually crazy. So recently on August 28th, we actually got a new update from African Facts Zone who have now given us some more information about the whole big crack that just opened up. What well, seems like these places named Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, DR, Congo, and so many different places, it's really hard to spell them. So apparently the plates are diverging by seven millimeter every year. And this thing currently has been estimated that it's gonna be completely splitting Africa into two 
halves in the next five to 10 million years. And I do understand that five to 10 million years is actually pretty long, but you need to understand that back in 2018, they announced that it's going to take about 50 to 100 million years. But right now, after the latest research, it seems like the timing for Africa to split has already come down from 50 to 100 million years all the way to the next five to 10 million years. Now, we don't really know what's going to be happening as we move further on in years. Maybe it's not even going to be five to 10 million years anymore. It could happen even much faster than what we've expected. And this is the current situation of what's going on in Africa. As you can see, this is the one highway, which they seem to have repaired in order to run vehicles from one place to another. But eventually, this whole portion is going to be split out and it's going to be heading towards India. And obviously, we're going to ask Superman for help. We're seeing a crack that, that in all likelihood formed over many thousands of years or hundreds of thousands of years. Some scientists, including Ben Andrews, a geologist with the Smithsonian, mm -hmm. believe the crack was recently exposed by a rainstorm. But he says it was created by movement of the Earth's tectonic plates, sections of the Earth's crust that move about one inch a year. In Africa is splitting in two. Mm. And here's how. Millions of years ago, the world looked completely different. All the continents we know today were once part of a single massive supercontinent called Pangaea. So when the Earth was created, by God, does this mean that everything was just like one part and then over time there was like all this heavy rain or storm or whatever it was. They just split apart and now it's being ruled by all different leaders and nations and all God's that stuff. To break apart. And why is it happening again? You see, Africa sits on two tectonic plates, the mm -hmm. African plate and the Somali plate. Mm -hmm. These plates are slowly pulling away from each other, creating dramatic changes over time. Wow. But who all will be affected and how soon? Well, this split, known as the East African Rift, stretches mm -hmm. over 6,000 kilometers from Ethiopia to Mozambique. And in Ethiopia's Afar region, massive cracks have already... Look at that. People have already built bridges in order to cross over from one region to another. And now it seems like this is where the volcanoes are coming out of. It's going to be a tough call, even when you're trying to cross the path. All of the bridges that they've built so far, it's going to break down and there are going to be like fires coming out of this place. Damn, that's like a scary show, man. It looks like a movie entirely. Although the rift is expanding at just seven millimeters per year, the mm -hmm. impact is massive over time. Scientists estimate that in about 10 million years, years, the rift will become so wide that a new ocean will form, separating East Africa wow. from the rest of the continent. And also, look at this. It also fits perfectly, like as if you're just solving some sort of a puzzle. But a lot of people have been wondering if it's going to stop here, or maybe it just collides here, and then half of this part just stays here, and then this one splits up, it goes and gets attached to India. And we never know. This could happen. Or it could also get stuck on the northern part, so there could be anything that's going to happen. And this right here is what's going on in Africa right now. Look at that stuff, man. Look at that stuff, man. This is like the half of the gas station and the other half is on the other side. That's crazy looking. Crack that just opened up. And we, we can already see there's like smoke coming out of it. Ago, the ground began to split open in Africa hmm. with fractures opening up across different countries, even splitting a man's house into two. Wow. Since then, it's been obvious that Africa is undergoing a continental rift. Such a rift occurs when a continent is set to break into two or more. Mm. When this happens, new continents, islands, and oceans will be formed, and our world will never be the same again. That's one of the most scariest things that I've ever seen so far, because it seems like it's not just Africa that's going to get affected. A lot of different countries are also going to get affected. But at the same time, they've also said that the core of the Earth is going to be much more weakened. And most probably, that's going to cause a lot of volcanic eruption, not just in Africa. And although it's going to take like 5 to 10 million years from now, I think it's all going to be depending on the kind of speed in which the crack just keeps expanding. But as of now, it seems like, you know, the crack is only expanding in a very tiny portion but we never know man it's nature and nature is never predictable that humans can't even predict now honestly guys i would love to hear from you guys what do you think about everything that's going on in africa as of now and if at all this makes a split do you think that india is going to be keeping this land are we humans even going to be alive until five or ten million years that's something that we need to ask about and obviously when it comes to catastrophes that happens in nature wise people usually tend to rely on the religious scriptures and according to some of the research 
knowledge that we have found, it seems like some of these things are kind of connected to the biblical prophecies. In Verin Zechariah chapter 14 verse 4, it describes that the Mount of Olives is going to be split in two. And some will see this as a symbolic or prophetic reference to the land division. And some Christians actually believe that this is going to be some sort of the symbolic representation of what the Bible has been stating, that eventually someday when God stands on the mountain, which is not exactly Africa as far as what the Bible states, but then obviously some Christians believe that this is just some sort of a representation as far as what the Bible says. But also in Isaiah chapter 18, it says that the land is going to be divided by rivers, which some have already interpreted that Africa is the land that Isaiah is talking about. And also if we look at Matthew chapter 24 verse 7, which mentions that there will be a massive earthquake, which is once again being related to the new activities that's happening in the African plains. And in Genesis chapter 10 verse 25, which mentions the Peleg, whose name means division. Some have been speculating that this could reference continental drift that's happening in Africa. But however, from the scientific perspective, it seems like the East African rift is a real geological phenomenon where Africa is splitting in two and the process will take millions of years, eventually forming a new ocean. Conclusion is that there is no clear biblical prophecies about Africa splitting and any connection is just people's own perspectives. Now, obviously, this leaves us to a very good conclusion that no, it's not part of biblical prophecies. And even if it is, it's, it's still going to take millions of years. And as far as what I've been seeing with other biblical prophecies coming true, it doesn't seem like we have a lot of time before the second coming happens, because right now all the prophecies have already come true. And it's just a matter of time before Euphrates River completely dries out. And another video which is going to be covering that topic is coming up. I heard you guys. I know you guys have been asking me to go ahead and cover the topic about the Euphrates River. I've seen countless comments. And yes, that video is coming up soon. So make sure to go ahead, subscribe and turn your notifications on. That's the most important part of all. Now, with that being said, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave your thoughts down below the comments. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, take it easy, fams. And goodbye.